this is serious when you look to your right you see at first these clouds coming up to the right of the nuclear blast which appears to be a nuclear blast maybe it's taking place in the water could this uh, test that actually went live it could have went off on the boat kind of had a, a minor blow up on the right side but you see that there is a fire before the explosion so there was probably a pre-explosion before this main one that that to me looks like a nuclear explosion in the water so this is pretty serious some of the water probably shielded some of the some of the personnel but uh, likely most of those people will get sick and die anyway this looks like a megaton nuke went off in the water and this is what happens when countries get into a nuclear arms race that we have with the US and Russia and we're pretty much provoking each other to build crazy and crazier weapons uh, the Russians think they're doing self-defense the Americans think they're doing self-defense it's a perpetual six people have been affected by severe radiation exposure as a result of a blast they have been delivered by Moscow by air are an en route to the Federal Medical Biophysical Center of Federal Medical Biological Agency majoring in radiation and nuclear medicine it is reported with reference to sources in the Russian Defense Ministry that all the clothes of the injured and doctors as well as the chemical protection suits were burned. It was initially reported that a fire broke out at a military base. Later, Russia's Defense Ministry specified that an explosion occurred during a test of a liquid propulsion system at a military training ground. The Russian Federation has resolved the accident. At least two specialists were poorly killed and another six employees of the Defense Ministry and the developer were injured. An increase in the radiation levels was recorded. The wave from the explosion. That had, to me, it looks everything like a nuclear bomb. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Nuclear bomb detonating in water. It doesn't look like it was too far in the water as well. Perhaps it was floating on the water almost when it exploded. This drone. I was reading up on it. The Poseidon is a 70 foot underwater drone powered by a nuclear reactor. It's a drone that can cross an entire ocean at depths down to a thousand meters, making it nearly impossible to intercept. Tipped with megaton sized thermonuclear warhead. There are seven pharmacies around this area that was all bought out iodine. People are buying iodine, but it's, iodine is not going to be enough to stop plutonium ending your body. Never is with nuclear. There isn't a cure-all. How many thousands and thousands of acres are going to be left to nuclear wasteland that can't be used for nothing? And they were using what was called a nuclear propulsion drone called Poseidon. It can carry two megatons weapons. It's also a nuclear propelled system. At least two people died and several received injuries after the liquid fuel in a missile jet engine exploded during a test at the military testing area of Nonuska on White Sea Coast. Regional News Site 29 reports that the accident happened at 9 a.m. Thursday. The news site claims that three people are dead and that eight of the 15 are in serious condition. And when they brought those people in, the medical staff on duty was wearing full body suits and gas masks. So they were actually afraid of breathing in. These, these people they were bringing in were radioactive. So there was definitely a release. According to the Defense Ministry of Information, the cause of the accident was an explosion while testing a liquid propulsion system. The explosion triggered a fire. It is known that the site is used for testing of liquid-fueled engines of ballistic missiles for strategic nuclear-powered submarines. Rumors about a radiation leak were first reported and referred to emergency service saying radiation levels were three times higher than normal background. Two sensors in town for a short period measured increases in background radiation. The increase in radiation began. The levels reported by Nunezk are three times higher than normal. The news agency tells that also the administration of Sividensk informed about a slight increase of radiation. It has now returned to normal, he says. It is unclear if the explosion happened on land or in sea. Now, did they actually launch a nuclear warhead could it could have a nuclear warhead exploded in the water i don't know it's a possibility but it's also being propulsed by nuclear did that engine explode you have a situation where it's possible that 
the nuclear engine exploded and these two warheads are in there and maybe they didn't explode the warheads themselves but they blew up but they didn't explode like a nuclear bomb but they was like a dirty bomb because there's weapons grade plutonium in those missiles the only known weapon system with nuclear propulsion under development and testing are the Poseidon underwater drone and the Bedford-Ganesk cruise missile. The weapons testing facility on the White Sea, some 25 kilometers west of the Severodensk. Casualties after a missile engine explosion. At least two people died. Jumped radiation background. Nothing is known about the explosion. Information was received on increasing background radiation. Was it or not? They should check at several points. The governor of the Argentine region confirmed that an emergency occurred in Nanooks. Nanooks. So Nanooks got nuked. Explosion or a fire it is now being revealed. So there was probably an explosion and then a fire or a fire that led to an explosion. This incident occurred in a military unit. Information agency TAS citing emergency services reported that the source of the fire was on the ship. As a result of the emergency, one person had died. The incident began with a ship that is now on fire. An air ambulance was sent out to the place. There was a fire on one of the ships of the Navy. The Basel Telegram channel writes, According to preliminary information, at least two people were killed and 15 injured. All information from the Ministry of Defense is being specified that this is a military facility belonging to the Ministry of Defense. For our part, we are also specifying information. Hospitals and sanitation are mobilized. According to the internet publication Life, after an unidentified emergency, radiation emissions sensors worked. After a short jump, everything returned to normal. So there was a state where things were not normal, and then the wind changed. Launches were to take place in the next four days at the ballistic missile range for submarines, and today they were preparing for them, and something went wrong. Probably hurried. Press the wrong button. I know that explosions occurred on a barge near a military unit. And according to rumors, the background radiation is increased. It's scary. An emergency meeting of departments is currently taking place in the Argentine region. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation stated that an explosion occurred during a test of liquid propulsion systems at a military training ground and the product caught fire. As a result of the incident, two specialists were killed. Six more people, employees of the military defense and a developer company were injured. It became known of two large emergency situations at the facility, a fire in a deep sea vehicle in the Barents Sea. Call some journalists from Moscow beginning at 1248. Obviously the situation is serious. 